Hi, this is Beverly from The Quilt and Bee, and today we are going to show you how to create a friendship star block using partial seam construction. We are using the Marty Michelle templates, set B, to make those, and at the end of this video I will give you a link for our uh, website that will allow you to get all the instructions using the template sets. First thing you're going to do is pull out set B, uh, block number 9 or template set number 9. You're going to have all your strips cut 2.5 by 4.5 and, and you're going to make sure that they're all right sides up. You're going to go ahead and cut them just like I did. You're going to have one block for your center and then this one's a little bit more difficult to see because it's a black uh, print but you're going to use B13 you're going to, I'm going to turn this around so that I can cut a little bit better. Make sure you get all those little nips in there. That really helps you with your alignment when you start putting your block together. And then we'll do that with your other one. Next we're going to go look at how we construct the, essentially the legs of the Friendship Star Quilt. Once you have cut them, you're going to put your pieces together, sew them, put them together, line them up. Let's just line up one so that you can see it. Sew a line right there and, and then come back and press it open. You'll do that four times so that you'll have four different legs. Okay, once you've sewn that partial seam, you'll see right here, you can see where I did not sew it all the way around. Now you're going to construct it just like you would a log cabin. You'll sew this entire line, press that finger press it. Sew this one and then you're going to come down here and you're going to sew that entire unit together. When you get done with that you will open this up. So now you have it all sewn except you've got to complete this one partial seam and what you're going to do is put it right sides together, come back here, pressed it the wrong way, and complete that seam right here and then you will have a completed Friendship Star block like this one. One of the things I want to show you as to why you would do a partial seam construction would be to eliminate some of your seam allowances and some of the bulk in your... Alright, so this is a traditionally constructed Friendship Star Block and if you can see there you'll see that there's many seams. It's set as a traditional nine patch. Here is uh, a partially this is the one with the partial seam construction. You'll see there's not any seams here and it really makes it a lot cleaner, a lot nicer to put together. So there you have it. Partial seam construction. Okay, if you go if ahead you, and look down in the bottom of the in the description and the bottom of this YouTube video, you'll see a link to our website where you can get a, a conversion chart from Marty Michelle for all of the farmer's wife blog. Keep sewing and be happy.